Hello everyone, Scott Hendrickson again with another video on using Node-RED and specifically using Node-RED in conjunction with the um, virtual assistant software Denise. Alright, so this is going to be a simpler video just because we need to build some foundations and now I myself am working out a lot of this. So obviously Node-RED is a server. That's one thing to keep in mind is that Node.js is a JavaScript server application and that's really to our advantage because you know a server does what it says. It provides services. It always runs in the background. As soon as you deploy a Node.RED instance then you've started a server application on your computer and this just happens to be the front end configuration interface. So we now have a server running on our local host on port 1880 and you can reconfigure that but that's the default port. So that's a very basic concept to keep in mind is that you're running a server uh, not a piece of software in the traditional sense. So it's meant to accept requests and perform actions and send back data. Alright so we need to just look at how to address this and we'll get specifically in another video on how to do it with Denise. But right now I just want to show you simple routing mechanisms. All right. So here we have an HTTP object. Okay. We In the first video I looked at HTTP response. Now we're using a, an input object. So we're using this HTTP in object here. And we're setting up routes for it. So I'm basically giving it this uh, route structure of my test slash my test. So any time that I hit that localhost port 1880 slash my test, then I'm hitting into the server application and then we can configure and route from there. In its default state, it's just going to, um, this This is a HTTP TTP response object, which we looked at in the first one. And it's just sending, mirroring back what I'm sending. Um, you can, I suppose, configure the response, but I haven't got into that. And that's not what this video is about yet. Basically, what we're wanting to do is send parameters in to Node-RED. Uh, that we can perform actions on. So we're using a uh, URL parameter encoding scheme here. So you have localhost 1880 slash my test, which is that HTTP an object, then the question mark, and then a parameter. In this case, it's going to be foo equals bar, which is just a standard way of testing. And what it does is it sends this encoded object, this uh, JSON encoded object, uh, foo colon bar, and it will uh, mirror that back. So if we were to just look at the payload object that's coming directly out of here, and we keep in mind we need to deploy afterwards. When I hit that address, then see it just sends that back and then lets me know that here it is right there that's what's being received and just to verify that that's what's happening we'll do it once again and there we go so you see I have just one tab talking to another tab essentially I'm routing through the server so now let's look at how we can utilize parts of those parameters and I'm not going to get into deep part of it in this video I'm just going to show you the simple way uh, to get started so here we have the ability we entered it in this JSON node here so that we're encoding what's coming in as JSON format it, it, it appears that it's in JSON format from this structure but Apparently it's not because see I have this switch object 
here and I was trying to make it equals or contains even doing a regex and it wasn't recognizing any of that foo and bar in any format without colon without uh, quotation marks without braces just nothing just nothing at all until I put in this JSON object and then it started recognizing it and I could work on it so that's just an important note to make just has to do with the internal encoding format I suppose but our intent here is to create this switch that says if I send in a certain string you know with a parameter then do this thing I could add more rules that says do this other thing or this other thing uh, if you know if the output of one thing is the other then do that this is a switching system and that's what we're going to need to do uh, because we're going to have Denise and I'm just speaking specifically about her uh, as a piece of software that's going to send URLs that's going to form late and send URLs into Node Red that we can do things with um, but we're going to need her to um, send something like ask for the weather or ask for the news or something like that so we're going to employ this switching mechanism it appears at least one way to be able to do that and so I just wanted to basically give you the simple structure of how that works um, on just a quick note on node red a cool thing about it is that any setup that you make here is exportable as a simple JSON string so you could just copy this paste it into another document share it with other people what have you um, and going forward I'll start sharing some of these setups but anyway this is just a foundational video uh, to get the ideas across uh, before we start into more complex things. Take care.